Foremost, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who came out. Um, on behalf of my mom, I'm trying to find out, okay, for FEMA, they um, only awarded her, like, a certain amount of money. And the amount that they awarded is not even enough to, like, get, do our appliances or um, the flooring or different things like that. What we're trying to find out is, is there a way we can either appeal it or get it re-evaluated um, or something to that nature? Because I know for a fact her floors and her walls is going to cost more than the amount of light, let alone talk about the furniture and the appliances that she needs to get. I'll take that over. A little bit I'm going to speak for FEMA, they're not here. Um, but you've got really about three options. The first is if you're awarded a grant from FEMA, and let's say the dollar amount it just doesn't work for you, you can definitely appeal it. You, know, you can inquire, well, why is it only this amount? And it's just a matter of placing a phone call and asking the questions. Um, you may get the same answer, but it's worth asking the question. It's within your right. The other thing is, the second thing would be, you can you know, apply for an SBA loan. Remember how I said, even if you don't want the loan, apply? Because what will happen, let's say for some reason you're denied the loan, then we send you back to FEMA to look at other grants assistance that's available. So that's, that's the other option. So, we'll, so in those three, it was appeal at first, apply for SBA to see if you are approved, because there may be more you know, additional monies that way, the third is if you're denied, then we'll send you back to FEMA. Michael, again, the SBA uh, has offices around the city right now. Yeah, there's disaster recovery centers all around Baton Rouge and the areas adjacent to that. Out of disaster recovery centers, not only SBA, but it's FEMA and other agencies as well. 